Good evening, this is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Indore in Madhya Pradesh declared as cleanest city in National Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 awards. Mukuchung Town awarded cleanest city in a northeast zone. Jamukidima backs best self-sustainable city, while Futsaro receives best city in innovation and best practices. People's Democratic Alliance appeals to NPF Legislature Party to reconsider its withdrawal decision from joined legislature forum. And Nagaland reports 25 new COVID-19 cases with 215 more people recovered. Indoor in Madhya Pradesh has been awarded the cleanest city in the country in the Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 awards. The city backed a position for the fourth consecutive time. The awards were presented by Union Urban Development Minister Hardeep Singh Puri at a function held virtually today. Among the towns along the banks of River Ganga, Varanasi has been awarded the Cleanest Town Award. Chhattisgarh was awarded the first place in the states with over 100 cities, while Jharkhand backed it for being the state in the category of states with less than 100 cities. Jalantar Condonment Board was conferred the cleanest condonment board in the country. Ahmadabad in Gujarat was awarded for being the cleanest city with over 40 lakh population. Speaking on the occasion, Puri said, Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 witnessed several innovations and best practices emerging from the cities. He said that through a mix of innovative thinking, technological interventions and active stakeholder engagement, cities have found novel ways to address issues of sanitation and waste management in their areas. This year, around one crore with seven lakh citizens participated in the survey of 4,242 cities, 62 cantonment con- boards and 92 towns along the Ganga River. 129 awards were handed over to the top performing cities and states in today's Swatch Mahutsav event. Mogukchung has been awarded the cleanest city in the northeast zone under the category of 25,000 to 50,000 population in the Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 awards. Mogukchung Town backed the first position among the top 29 cities of the northeast with a score of 1,945.97, while Jumgadima ranked the eighth position with a score point of 1,587 and also backed the best self-sustainable city. Also, Futsaro received the best city in innovation and best practices award in the northeast zone under the populations of up to 25,000. Advisor Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Dr. Nikki Kire has congratulated the three towns of Nagaland for winning the Swatch Sarvekshan 2020 awards. Terming it a great achievement for the state, Dr. Nikki said that the achievement was possible due to the active participation of the citizens and congratulated them for their efforts. He also expressed hope that there would be more participation from other ULPs of the state in the upcoming Swatch Sarvekshan 2021. The People's Democratic Alliance PTA has welcomed the initiative of the Government of India to resume the indo naga political dialogue. This was stated in a resolution adopted during a meeting of the PTA held today at the State Banquet Hall, Kohima. The resolution signed by NDPP President Chinwang Konyak and State BJP President Demjin Imna Along stated that the meeting reiterated its support to the peace initiative and will continue to play the role of an active facilitator in order to create an atmosphere that is conducive to the realization and successful landing of the political solution. The PTA said that the initiative of the central government to resume the dialogue in all seriousness will pave the way for peace, progress and all-round development. The ruling PTA also appealed the NPF Legislature Party to reconsider its decision to withdraw from the Joint Legislators Forum in the greater interest of Naga society. The PTA called for setting aside all differences and rise above party affiliations in order to strive towards realization of the people's desire, which is lasting and genuine peace. It also opined that the JLF will continue to play its role of facilitating the peace process with committed dedication to fulfill the cry and will of the people. It further said the NDPP, BJP and independent members will continue to carry its responsibilities as members of the JLF. 
while taking note on the concern of the people on Governor's Independence Day speech. The PTA said the state may not be the best performing state, however asserted that it is making every effort to take the state forward on all development fronts. It further said, as representatives of the people, the PTA is compelled to voice the feelings of the people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the National Recruitment Agency will prove to be a boon for growth of youngsters. In a series of tweets last evening, Modi said, through the common eligibility test, the NRA will eliminate multiple tests and save precious time as well as resources. The Prime Minister said this will also be a big boost to transparency. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. Nagaland reported 25 new cases of COVID-19 positive today, taking the total confirmed cases in the state to 3,583. Health and Family Welfare Minister Espanyo Pom in a tweet this afternoon informed that out of 827 samples tested, 15 cases are from Dimapu, 9 in Kohima and 1 in Mon. He also added that 215 COVID-19 patients have recovered, of which 192 are from Dimapu, 21 in Kohima and two in Zanubudo. Health Department said out of 25 new cases detected today, 10 are amongst the traced contacts, 9 from returnees and 6 from armed forces. With this, the total active cases in the state stand at 1,648, while 1,921 people have recovered. So far, 7 have succumbed to the infection. The recovery rate of COVID-19 patients continues its upward streak and has reached around 74% today, with sustained preemptive and timely interventions by the government nearly 21 lakh people in the country have successfully recovered from COVID-19. In view of the detection of COVID-19 positive persons, additional Deputy Commissioner Gohima Litrongla Dongbi Ritsa has notified the sealing of house number 44B, 182 and 95B located at Upper AG Colony, New Minister Seal Colony and Middle AG Colony respectively. The ADC said all movement of persons or vehicles within the sealed area is strictly prohibited. Deputy Commissioner Mon in an order has restricted the movement of vehicles transporting essential goods and commodities from Assam to Mon starting from today till further notice. The e-Sanjivini digital platform of the Health Ministry has completed two like daily consultations. This milestone was achieved within a short span of 10 days since the 9th of August when Health Minister Dr. Harj Walton had presided over a meeting to commemorate the completion of 1.5 like daily consultations. The e-Sanjivini platform has proved its utility and easy access for caregivers and the medical community and to those seeking health care services in the times of COVID. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has invited ideas and suggestions for his Monkey Bart program to be aired on 30th August. In a tweet, Modi said he is looking forward to ideas on what should be discussed in this month's Monkey Bart. People can record their message by dialing 1-80011-7800. They can also write on the Namo app or my GOV. And now to the news here at Men Points again. Indoor in Madhya Pradesh declared as cleanest city in National Sports Selection 2020 awards. Moguchung Town awarded cleanest city in the northeast zone. Jamugadima Bank's best self-sustainable city, while Fuzuru receives best city in innovation and best practices. People's Democratic Alliance appeals to NPF Legislature Party to reconsider its withdrawal decision from joined legislature forum. And Nagaland reports 25 new COVID-19 cases, with 215 more people recovered. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.